Hello guys, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. As usual, I have my Christmas message which I conduct in Juba Arabic or Arabic Juba. But this time, I'm going to present this video in English language. My message today is going to concentrate on love. Why love? Because only this world is the only thing that everybody in the world today needs for people to come together and for people to do something prosperous. Today, I'm going to focus on South Sudan, my country, and my focus is going to be on our social coexistence. Because for me, I really wish and dream that 2013 should really be the year of success to my people. Okay, how can we bring forth peace and social coexistence to South Sudan? Let's all ask ourselves as citizens and as people of the Republic of South Sudan. Let's just go back and let's look at our social fabric or the social composition of the Republic of South Sudan. As a nation, we have very many tribes and what I believe, which is true actually, that because we all look at ourselves and our tribes and not our country, this is what brings the conflicts and the divisions in our country. And straightforward, this is addressing this issue. I'm really heard from inside that I see people getting into conflicts and the country is getting divided and people are getting separated and people are really frustrated because of this one thing. And why? Because we only miss one factor, love for each other as a country. I know that we are people we are known for our love, we are known for many, many good things that we do to each other. But if we can transform this nationwide, not just at the standard of our people as a tribe or a different subgroup in the country, then I believe we can be a successful people. Okay, let's go back to our social composition. As I think and as I see, and as I have experienced. Okay, before the, the independence or before the separation of the Republic of South Sudan, Sudan was known as an Arabic country, politically, okay. But when we see on the actual ground, we can see that we as a people, we have experienced the colonization or the British colonization, okay, and we have experienced a social life with the Arabs whereby we have now an Arabic culture or we have an Arabic composition and we have our African ancestral background and uh, we don't have the Asian of course but these three if we can really invest this social composition in the right way we can have a very strong Republic of South Sudan whether we want it or not we have people in, in our Republic of South Sudan who still have Arabic cultures. Whether you want it or not, there are people in our Republic of South Sudan who have very strong and very strong English or Western cultures. So if we can invest our African culture and the Arabic culture and the English culture, which makes us the people of South Sudan, I believe that this can be a very strong factor that we can move forward together. Okay, let's come to our issue, which is the tribal conflicts in the Republic of South Sudan. For me, I'm looking at it from the social point of view. From the social point of view, if we continue this way, all I can see is a very, very, very chaotic and divided country, and a country which is faced with a lot of challenges in the future. But if you can put our efforts in love and we and we can put our hands together as people of the country i believe we can be a very successful country and a very successful nation in the region i wish you all very prosperous happy and successful and blessed
2013, and let's all together work to make South Sudan number one.